Hi folks, Smash Bros. on Android.com where we get on Android every day. Uh, anyway, I've got a quick update for you guys with Sprint Note 3. Um, for those of you who are still on KitKat, did you know there are ported ROMs um, that are popping up? Um, so one of them is the Sax Lollipop Android 5.0 ported ROM. Uh, this is ported from the international uh, SMN 9005. Everything working out of the box. And the only requirement for this one is that you have to install the latest uh, NK4 bootloader. Now it's really easy to do if you already updated to the latest NK4 before you flash the uh, stock firmware, the latest KitKat firmware with Odin before, you're good to go. If not, um, you don't have to flash the whole firmware. You can go ahead and just download the bootloader only, which I've zipped it into a tar file. You can go ahead and flash that with Odin uh, V185 or Odin 307. Uh, any of the Odins and then you'll be able to enjoy the latest Android uh, 5.0 as I've got here. Don't get jealous install your own um, Lollipop is on the way sprint is just really slow, but if you want to try out some of the new features of Lollipop you can go ahead and install this. This is Android 5.0 as you can see if your baseband says NK4 It ends in NK4 you mostly likely already have NK4 bootloader uh, what you can do is install the ROM, and if it doesn't boot in like 20 minutes, uh, or if it starts rebooting, that's what happened to me, you can go ahead and download the bootloader and install it with Odin. So have a computer handy uh, if you want to install it. This is actually called the Soul ROM, uh, ported off the N9005. Now this isn't the latest version of Soul ROM, which is really cool. I should cover that with my other N9005, uh, which is supposed to have a bunch of S6 features and S6 Edge features, which is really cool. Now the only thing with this ROM is that Soul Tweaks doesn't work out of the box. It's not a huge deal, but everything else works. You'll get a flawless uh, Android 5.0 experience. One of the things you can do over KitKat, of course, um, you do have that uh, floating windows. Ah, that way. Sorry, here we go. There we go. You do have the uh, option of doing, making all of your favorite uh, apps into floating windows. And tethering should be working out of the box, which is really cool. Um, and a bunch of other lollipop stuff. Uh, performance is really good on this. Um, so definitely check it out. It's a pretty straightforward ROM. I mean, it's pretty stock, but um, there are a lot of uh, performance additives, tweaks uh, that's gonna make your phone faster. In the meanwhile, um, I'm going to have, there's a couple, one other ROM that I'm going to go ahead and try, and I should have an uh, overview of that by next week. Uh, but try this one. If you want to be on Lollipop today, you don't want to wait, go ahead and install this. A uh, very nice ROM. Also, camera works flawless, so you don't have to worry about that. And that's about it. And I have more ROM uh, overviews coming soon, so stay tuned, folks. And as always, stay <laughs> on Android. And thanks guys for watching this video. This is my second YouTube channel covering the ROMs and my extra videos. If you want to see my main videos, go ahead and subscribe uh, to my main channel over at Zetomax, uh, where I cover stuff like the Nexus 6, the Note Edge, uh, Note 4, and all of the latest Android gadgets. And I'll see you guys soon. As always, stay on Android.